The respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV, causes infections of the breathing passages and lungs in infants and young children. RSV can cause pneumonia and is the leading cause of bronchiolitis, which is an infection of the bronchioles, the small breathing tubes of the lungs. RSV is spread by contact with infected secretions such as saliva and mucus from sneezing. RSV is most contagious during the first two to four days after your child begins to feel ill. An RSV infection can last between two and eight days, but symptoms can remain up to three weeks. RSV occurs more often during the winter and early spring. Almost all children will have an RSV infection at least once before they are two years old. Most of the time, this virus only causes minor cold-like symptoms. However, for some babies, an RSV infection can be dangerous. For infants who are born early or born with heart disease or lung disease, an RSV infection can be especially serious. Premature infants often have underdeveloped lungs and may have difficulty fighting an RSV infection once they become infected. The signs and symptoms of RSV include fever, with a temperature above 100 degrees Fahrenheit, cough, wheezing, runny nose, rapid and or deep breathing, blue colored lips or fingernails, and poor appetite. In addition to these symptoms, there may be others. There are a number of ways that RSV can be treated. If your child has asthma or has trouble breathing, your doctor may try a bronchodilator to help open his or her airways. Some children who have bronchiolitis may have to be hospitalized for treatment with oxygen. If your child is unable to drink because of rapid breathing, he or she may need to receive intravenous fluids, which are given through a needle into a vein. On rare occasions, infected babies will need a ventilator to help them breathe. Antibiotics are not used for treating viral infections, including those caused by RSV. Any illness that makes it difficult for your child to breathe should be evaluated first by your child's doctor. At home, you can do the following things to help your child feel more comfortable. Give all medicines in the way your doctor or nurse practitioner instructs. Do not allow anyone to smoke around your child or in the home. Try using a cool mist vaporizer to soothe your child's dry breathing passages if this is recommended. Do not use hot air vaporizers. Saline nasal drops may help loosen mucus in the child's nose. Make sure your child gets plenty of fluids such as water and fruit juices. For fever, give your child medicines such as acetaminophen. Do not give your child aspirin. Blow little noses frequently. You can use a nasal aspirator for infants. Allow your child plenty of rest. You can keep RSV from spreading by taking these steps. Wash your hands thoroughly after caring for your child. Breastfeeding for at least six months. Respiratory infections are less common in children who have been breastfed. Avoid tobacco smoke exposure. A child exposed to tobacco smoke has a higher risk of bronchiolitis. Keep your children home from daycare when they or other children become ill. Wash toys between each use. Cover the mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing. Be sure to throw away any used tissues. Contact your child's doctor or nurse practitioner immediately if your baby or child is having trouble breathing, has a gray or blue skin color, has a fever that climbs above 101 degrees Fahrenheit, has thick yellow or green discharge from the nose, is younger than two or three months and has a fever, shows signs of dehydration such as dry mouth, crying without tears, and urinating less often. We hope you have found this information helpful. If you have any questions, please ask one of your caregivers. Thank you for choosing Cleveland Clinic for your care.